We begin with a Salt Lake City bar that made headlines for its no Zionist allowed policy. The owner now claims their lease is getting terminated. Our Jonathan May is on the story for us. He's live downtown by the Gateway Mall. Now, Jonathan, we know this is a controversial story. What's the latest that we're learning here today? Well, Sarah, Brian, first, the owner of the bar is a local activist and former Salt Lake City mayoral candidate, Michael Valentine, who says he's being pushed out by the owners of the Gateway Mall for his political beliefs. And as we take a look at some video here of Valentine in the bar today, he has been a prominent local activist for years, most recently in the spotlight for joining the 2023 mayoral race for Salt Lake City. He lost to incumbent Mayor Aaron Mendenhall. In March, his bar weathered waves, posts on social media, no Zionists allowed. That policy led to condemnation from the United Jewish Federation of Utah, an investigation into possible discrimination from the Attorney General's office. Though that investigation found no discrimination, the AG's office warned the business that enforcement of the policy could be an issue in the future. Valentine believes it could be why his lease is being terminated and accuses his landlord of treating his business unfairly. That story went viral. We were picked up all over the world um, about banning Zionists and being one of the first successful businesses and bars in America to do so. And I think they don't want that notoriety because people have come here from California. They've come here from all around the, you know, the, the country already to visit us. Now we reached out to Vestar, the company that owns the Gateway Mall, and they say we cannot comment yet as this is ongoing litigation. As far as we've learned, this isn't referring to any specific lawsuit filed by either party. Though Valentine and Vestar could be going to court over the dispute and the rent payments tied up here. We'll, of course, keep following the story for you both on air and online on abc4.com. Sarah, Brian, back over to you.